bird dog to advanced bird dog. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off in a tabletop position. Bird dog is a really great way to connect to your entire body, wake up your nervous system, wake up the cross body work that your nervous system really needs to do and can do by firing on both sides at the same time. It's really hard for a lot of us with our balance and coordination as we continue to age to keep up with our balance and coordination. So this is something that you can come back to at any time in your day, any time in your life, any time in your fitness practice to help you come back to natural movement patterns and how your brain and body are supposed to connect that we might have lost touch with because we sit all the time or we do a lot of things on one side, right? So let's get into the bird dog because that's gonna be the basics of how to make both sides fire at the same time. So into a tabletop position, hands are directly underneath your shoulders. You wanna make sure those shoulders are pulled down and back away from your ears so you're not grounding in and just chilling like you're watching TV. You are stacked and supported in your upper body. Your knees are directly underneath your hips. So check in, a lot of us like to come narrow here. Come right underneath your hips. And I like to plant the tops of the feet. If you like to have a little bit more stretch, you can plant the, like, or curl your toes underneath you. That's just fine, it's up to you. And then you're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg, we're gonna reach out. I like to keep my eyes down for better balance. And then pull back in. So you can tap and reach. Or if that tap is not accessible to you for hip flexors or your back, you're going to come down Tap down at the same time and re-extend. So some things you want to pay attention to. My palm is facing the opposite wall from me, like so toward my left side, intentionally to keep my lat fired on. With my fingers up towards the, the ceiling or my back of my hand towards the ceiling, it's easy to come out of my lat. So I suck that shoulder back and down. The heel is pushed back towards the wall behind me versus my toes. Toes are easy to hyperextend into the low back. Heel, you're going to get a little bit more stability on your hips, you're also gonna have limited range of motion. It's not gonna let you get into your low back as much. The last piece is trying to keep your core connected. So not letting that flare happen, but keeping it nice and tight and connected. You don't wanna pull your belly button to your spine here. That's the trick a lot of people try to use, is belly button to spine. That could work if you wanna try it that way. That's an easy cue for you to remember. But I want you to physically <laughs> tighten together. So instead of thinking belly button to spine, can you think, Make yourself a solid weight belt, okay? Make your core into a belt, brace it, and then try again. So again, opposite hand, opposite leg, extend. You can either tap in the center and extend again, that's your crunch, or you can come down, tap, and release, come forward. And then again, you're gonna alternate sides out here, so pay attention to what I have told you in your instructions. You're either gonna be told to stay on one side the whole round, or alternate sides, whatever you need to do. Now to advance this into an advanced bird dog, we're gonna get into a hovering position. So leopard crawl position, same starting position right here. You're gonna lift your knees off the ground though, and now you're gonna try and do the same thing. So this is where it's really important to keep that focal point on the ground. Come back in, and other side. Nice, slow, and controlled. Again, you can do the tap and extend, or the crunch and extend, or you can tap out and go other side or stay on the same side, whatever you need to do. You can see in that last one, I tap my toe out. So if you start to lose your balance, don't be afraid to drop back to your knee. Don't be afraid to drop your toe down. Listen to your body, reestablish that stability that you're looking for and come back to it. That is your bird dog. That's gonna help you work your brain. It's gonna help you work your body, your core, your legs, everything. And then of course you can advance it by lifting up those knees. That's your bird dog, my friends. Enjoy.